Millions of Kenyans are about to vote for their next president. Here are some key facts on the election and why it matters. Kenya's capital is plastered with posters and placards as every single position of political power in the country is up for grabs. And of course, the key battle is for the presidency. And there are two men currently in the lead. William Ruto, current deputy president and self-proclaimed hustler, is up against former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, who's running for his fifth time. Just over 22 million Kenyans have registered to vote in this election, and around 40% of them are under the age of 35. With such a large young population facing high unemployment rates and rising cost of living, this election is crucial. <laughs> Raila Odinga has come forward as a paternal figure, Baba, and is offering around $60 a month for families here, as well as universal health care. Ruto! William Ruto has gone a different route, engaging with young people as the champion of hustlers and promising them more job opportunities. With food and fuel costs becoming increasingly unaffordable, it's no surprise the economy is at the heart of this election. It's a close race, and one of the main concerns around this election is the potential for violence. We met people who've left the capital until there's a clearer sense of what's to come. These fears are rooted in past trauma. After the 2007 election, at least a thousand people were killed, more than half a million displaced when the outcome was contested. Since then, there's been a real push for a free and fair democratic process from people here. And despite both candidates hinting that they may contest the outcome, many are optimistic that this time will pass peacefully. Kenya is the largest economy in East Africa and is often deemed an island of stability. Now, this label glosses over the country's complicated history, especially around elections, but given the country's role in peace processes around the region, it's pretty well deserved. The prevailing stereotype around Africans and democracy, that tribal violence often reigns supreme, is one that Kenyans have worked hard to upend. And whether or not this election outcome sparks unrest, many have assured us that it won't be along ethnic lines. <laughs>